Carrie's Kitchen. Just wanted to come on here. It's Sunday and I wanted to show you a couple of things that I was prepping today um, to kind of eat and uh, make for the week. So big thing for me, I'm a traveling nurse. I uh, do home health and hospice and so I eat in my car literally. So there's not a whole lot of options sometimes. Um, and so you really have to be mindful of what you're eating and kind of what you're making to eat on the road and in your car. So otherwise you're finding yourself going to the drive-through more times than that is good, right? So I'm gonna show you a little bit of more healthier things that um, I'm gonna to try to prep for this week and eat for lunch and things. By no means do I do this all the time. I wish I did, I wish I was one of those prepared people that did this all the time, but I'm not. So, <laughs> but I had some time this Sunday afternoon, so I thought, you know what, I'm gonna prep some food for this week so I'm not eating out and starving. So I had a big pack of thinly uh, thin chicken breasts in the freezer. I thawed them out and I actually, um, I, all I did was put salt and pepper on them and I put them in my air fryer which is what you hear in the background. So it's a big pack and it came with I think like six thinly sliced chicken breasts. So I did these two just plain salt and pepper, put them in my air fryer, uh, 390 degrees for, um, like it only, cause they were so thin, it probably only took about 20, 25 minutes. And I let them cook and so they're all done. So I was just letting them cool off here in the bowl. So I just did a couple chicken breasts here. And while that was cooking, I prepped in the bowl here, a half an onion and a celery. I diced those up in an apple. I have some apples that are kind of getting to the point where they're not good anymore. Um, they're getting wrinkly. So I knew that I had to use them up. That knife is duller than dull. So, and my air fryer has air fry, roast, reheat or dehydrate options on it, which is wonderful. So you can do a lot with that air fryer. So what I did with this chicken breast was I uh, roasted it at 390 for only about 20, 25 minutes. So that's really quick too, like if you come home and you didn't thaw anything out uh, and don't have anything planned for dinner, you know, stick a couple chicken breasts in the air fryer and uh, you can have yourself some dinner. Can you close the garage door? I don't know what it's open for, popped open. So that's what I'm gonna be making is some chicken salad for lunch. I thought that would be a good thing to take. And if you're watching your carbs, um, or if you're doing keto or whatever your health journey looks like, um, I have some low carb, ooh, still hot, um, low carb uh, tortilla shells that I got. So I thought that would be good to wrap up this chicken mixture in a low carb tortilla shell. Um, now the apples I know have some sugar in it and some carbs, but I'm not doing strict keto. I'm doing like maybe, what is it, dirty keto or whatever they call it. Um, Cause I think fruit is still really healthy for you and really good for you. Um, and I just want it in my diet. So, so next time, um, cause I've never cooked chicken in my air fryer. I'm just dicing it up in little bits and some of it's getting shredded here. Um, but I've never done that before, but it's so nifty. It worked out really well. But next time when I do it, cause the top kind of got uh, crunchy, which is fine with me, but I should have put some like olive oil or sprayed some oil on top so the chicken uh, wouldn't have dried out on the top. So if you guys are doing that at home, or if you use your air fryer more than I do, you probably already knew that, but I didn't and I, uh, so the top got a little dried out. So I'm giving the pups a little treat. So that was two chicken breasts, they were thin, and an apple, onion, and celery. So that's what I put in here. And you can put a lot of different things in here. Make it, make it your own, whatever vegetables that are kind of on their way out. Whatever sounds good to you. I mean, chicken is one of those proteins that you can really pair it with a lot of different things. Um, 
and it tastes good. So I just have regular mayo here. And I don't like a ton of mayo in like my tuna salads or my chicken salads. Um, so I'm just gonna put a little scoop, mix it, and see what it looks like. Because it tends to get watered down after sitting in the fridge for a while. So I don't want a ton of mayo and have it be kind of real watery during the week. So I really think that one scoop Good. It's just a little piece of chicken. So that's really good. So I think it just needs a little salt and pepper. And again, make this your own. Do whatever um, seasoning sound good to you. Um, whatever it is. I'm running out of pepper a little bit left in there <laughs> so yeah so I'm just gonna have this sit in my fridge and I'll just pop it in a little Tupperware bin you can just eat this on its own you know and just eat it like this but you can put it in you know low carb bread or low carb buns or those pita breads that we made the other day that were keto and low carb low carb uh, tortilla shells whatever so this is really good to prep and that took me literally maybe a half an hour um, the longest part is just cooking the chicken. And so you've got lunch or a snack, coming home from work, 